of classified documents has been found at President Biden's house in Wilmington, Delaware. He just gave a news conference on the economy, then he walked away from taking any, any more questions surrounding those documents. Ben Dominic joins me now. Ben, I find this extraordinary. How big a story is this? What is your judgment? I think it's huge, Stuart, uh, and I think that the president and what he had to say today is going to do absolutely nothing to silence uh, the objections from people who uh, feel very much like this is both a hypocritical act on the part of, of the, the president uh, and also uh, they are going to expect that we have the same level of inquiry into these documents, uh, the same level of seriousness addressed to this issue uh, that we saw for former President Trump. Look, we need to know the provenance of these documents. We need to know why they were allowed uh, to be handled in such a way. And we need to have that in very clear terms. Uh, that's not what we've gotten from the White House thus far. Uh, it seems like, you know, of course, they'd like to avoid talking about this issue. But you heard that clamor from journalists because yeah. they understand how significant this story it, is. It, it seems like the journalists at the White House press corps may have turned a little hostile to President Biden. Yes. There, 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 was, there well, were kind of hostile questions shouted at him. Well, I think that one of the big things going on there is that they're infuriated that they look bad because of the way that this story played out, that they were never informed at the time that these documents were originally discovered, the first tranche, uh, days before uh, the midterm election, yeah. of what was going on. They're frustrated that they were kept in the dark about that, and that frustration, I think, is what you heard in that uh, kind of shouting uh, at the president today. It, it was fascinating. I think it was CBS which broke yeah. the first tranche of document story, and it was NBC mm -hmm. that broke the second tranche of document story. That's intriguing to me because the broadcast networks have been wholly gung-ho for Biden ever since he became president. Absolutely, and it's a, it's a real significant change because once these media entities latch on to a story like this, uh, that's a sign that I think it's going to receive more attention. Look, it, in terms of the way that it affects Americans' lives, you know, the border issue is obviously a lot more important, but, the, uh, it, but when it yeah. comes to uh, something like this, an inside Washington story, uh, they understand the way that it looks. Their reporting and commentary about former President Trump makes them look hypocritical if they don't bring the same level of seriousness uh, in going after this story. Uh, ben, uh, stay right there, please.